Hi all, in this video we're going to create this um, neat little kind of scan um, network. And to do this we're going to animate a boolean and then we're going to have two mesh networks. One which has points on vertices and another one which has got points on vertices but that are offset and then kind of noisy. So um, it's pretty simple. So let's get started. Um, and we'll add a model to begin with, which is going to be this basic head. So it's in the content browser under modeling, sculpture based meshes, bipeds. We'll just go and import that head and uh, move the camera out because it's quite big. So, uh, so the first thing we want to do is uh, smooth this mesh because we want more uh, vertices on it. So I'm just going to uh, go to mesh smooth. And then I'll probably have I'll have two divisions like so. And then uh, what we need is a cube, and I'm going to create a cube and then scale it up so that it swallows the shoulders, so that it's big enough to take the whole model uh, in depth and width. But then I'm going to shrink it down in height just to create this kind of section like this. And then I create uh, select the head, then the cube. I think I've got that right. And then we go mesh booleans, and then we want an intersection. And what this does is it creates an intersect mesh, which is the kind of like where the cube was, uh, but of the head. And you'll notice that that's the new mesh. And we've actually, it's left as the original cube and the original head. So I can actually move the original cube. Um, forgive the speed of my computer, I'm sorry. Um, so we've got the uh, original head here. So, uh, but, um, sorry, we've got the original cube transform there. Uh, and there, but but however, <laughs> but but I want to move the head, so because um, I want the cube to stay still. So I'm just gonna um, and move the head down, and then I'm going to set a keyframe here, like so, and then on frame 120, I'm gonna move all of this up. So and I'll get to maybe let's say here. So the keyframe. So there we go. Uh, now um, we've got this animating kind of section of the head, um, uh, but you'll notice that it's not um, super speedy because uh, I suppose the mesh is relatively dense and um, we're doing a kind of like live boolean. So um, I know that this kind of breaks the procedurality of it, but I am going to export this as an Alembic just to make the tutorial much, much speedier. So I'll show you how to do that. You just go cache, Alembic cache, export selection to Alembic. I'm going to open the option box just to make sure everything's right. Um, I'm going to hit export selection, and then I'm just going to um, put it here. So we'll call it head, and then hit return. And I will come back after it's finished. Okay, so the export's done. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do is select all my original objects. I'm actually just going to bin them um, to get them out of the scene, and then I'm just going to import um, the Alembic that we exported. Now, if I scrub the timeline, it's nice and fast. Uh, so uh, next step, let's create a cube, make it pretty small, so 0.1 on all the axes, and then I'm going to assign a material, which is going to be a Lambert, and I'm just going to make that white. And then I'll create a mesh network from it. So we go mesh, create mesh network, go to the distribute node, and then I will drag the Alembic head into the input mesh, like so, which turns it into um, mesh distribution. And uh, we want to um, distribute onto the vertices and then hit flood mesh, and that will put a mesh point on every vertex, as you can see here. So if I hide that, and then I script the timeline, see, Pretty cool, eh? Looks good. Uh, so um, let's uh, let's add. I'm just going to make the cube actually slightly bigger so we can see it more easily. Okay, so let's add a, an offset node. So we have an offset node, and we're just going to um, uncheck position and rotation. And what we'll do is we will um, change the mode to overwrite and then so that we've killed the scale and then we'll go down to fall off objects and then go create here. So we'll create a fall off object and we will um, double click on the fall off object in the attribute editor, change its um, shape to cube and I'm just going to increase the inner zone. I'm going to use this to kind of turn the objects on and off. So um, what we'll do is we'll start it uh, here maybe, frame one, and then I'll set a keyframe, 
like that. And then on frame, say, 10, I'll move it up like this. So, it is that. Maybe that's probably the wrong way. No, is that the right way to go about this? Uh, yes, that is the wrong way to go about this. I'll wipe it on from the top to the bottom, like that, I think. That looks better. Okay, so we'll do that, and then on frame, um, say, 109, I'm going to set the keyframe here. Then on frame 110, I'm going to move it up over the top, set a keyframe. And then on frame uh, 120, I'll to, I'll move it over everything just to kill, uh, wipe everything out. So um, you notice that it has not um, uh, got the shoulder, so I'm just going to make it slightly wider to do that. Uh, so this is our first network. That's what we've got. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the mash editor and I'm going to duplicate the network. So the whole network is duplicated. You see we've got double points. And um, what I'm going to do with the second network is I'm going to add, well, I'm going to go into the distribute node and I'm going to uh, turn on push long normals, which is going to kind of expand everything out slightly from the first uh, for, from the mesh, so you can see what's happening there. And then what I'll do is I'll add a signal node. So add a signal node, and then um, I think well, I could e you could either leave um, step turned on, so you've got this kind of noisy thing going on like that. If I make the background black, uh, or uh, you could uh, turn step off, and you get this kind of wavy pattern, which might be something like look something a bit, a little bit more like signal interference or something like that. But it's pretty cool, eh? I just need to make this fall off object a little bit taller, probably. Oh no, wait, this fall off object. There we go. It's, um, and I'm going to hide them both. I'm going to hide the fall off objects. Uh, one of them wasn't updating in the viewport there. I'm not quite sure what was happening there. Um, so yeah, that's our kind of our finished animation. So uh, play a blast that out. I think actually what I did was I added on the second network in the play blast I showed you before. Uh, which I have got rid of this one. I think those I what I did. There are some like there are some points that occasionally are a little bit distant. So there's one over here at the moment, and actually this is really subtle. So there's a few kind of like that split up away from the original mesh. What I did was added a random node, right? Um, gave it some distance like this, and then I set the random strength really low, so you can see that a few points move away, but not many. And then when you're going through, you get the kind of like random, every so often you get a random point that's away from the um, away from the main body of points. Anyway, so yep, when you're done, uh, you end up with, oh, I've closed it again. <laughs> you end up with this. So, pretty fun. Um, right, hope you found that useful and I'll see you next time.